It's so spicy. My tongue is even burning. Hello from a very, very chaotic house. These are all of our rolls and cutlets. And I really, really like this box. Buying until the last minute. Levi wants to make his appearance here too. The people actually like the food that I cooked. It was worth every effort of it. And this is a day that I will not forget for sure. It's only January and I've been so excited to get started preparing for Levi's birthday. I've already bought a few stuff and the first one has come. This is a balloon stand for the floor. So it's a tall stand that's a big and I need to fit all of these things. It comes with a balloon, um, a pack of balloons and LED lights for each. So there's two and that's the pump as well. I avoid white carb as much as possible and I've never used this many potatoes at one go but this is two full pots of potatoes that we are going to do rolls with it's a Sri Lankan dish um, kind of Asian dish actually mutton rolls and vegetarian rolls and we need to do like 80 rolls of each so we need this many potatoes I see my tongue is even burning and I normally eat a lot of spices. I have no idea how people are going to eat it. I started it with one pan but it was too full. I couldn't stir everything in it so I had to take two walks out. Once it's cooked, um, a few more minutes and then I have to add potato. I am really really hoping the potatoes will kind of even it out otherwise I don't know what else to do. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you Making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah. Hello from a very very chaotic house With so many things out and about and a lot of things happening but I thought this would be a good time to start the vlog. <laughs> Levi wants to start the vlog as well. So I thought it would be a good time to start the vlog to tell you that I am vlogging this weekend. 
this Levi here, Master Levi, he's getting dedicated in church. And um, we've got cake cutting and someone is turning one year old next week. I have no idea where the time has gone to. But technically, he's one year old next week. And we're going to do a cake smash and everything. So it's going to be a very busy weekend and very busy, exciting week ahead also. Levi is excited. We are obviously very, very excited. I'll show you in a bit what we've been up to. And yeah, it's not even 12 yet and I'm already tired. I forgot to have breakfast this morning because I'm so busy. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight I told you I'll show you what we're up to. But we started packaging stuff and then I completely forgot to vlog. But we've already gotten up to quite a bit. I don't know if you can see it clearly. The sun is reflecting through. But mommy and I have packed all of the ladoos in these bags. There's a transparent bag, a plastic bag and then sealed everything in this basket here. And kept it here safe away from temptation so that we don't dip into it until tomorrow. Electrons blowing balloons for the balloon stand. I haven't taken it out yet. That's inside. And I really, really like this box. It looks so good. I didn't expect it to be this good at all. It's such a flexible one. I got the one that um, has alphabets A to Z. So we could put Levi's name on it. And then you obviously put balloons. You can even put like LED lights and stuff in there. And it'll look really nice. I haven't got enough LED lights to put in each one individually. So we're not putting lights in. These are all of our rolls and cutlets. We've got mutton roll, vegetarian roll, and we've got fish cutlets. It's like um, a crockett. And all of these things are defrosting over here. We're going to start frying it in about two or three hours time. And we bought this deep fry fryer. For all of these things. I got a text this morning to say that one of my orders from the entertainer was going to be delivered this afternoon. I tried to think, but I couldn't recall ordering anything from the entertainer. I haven't been on their website for such a long time. I just left it as it is. I thought it could be a mistake or whatever. And I thought we'll just wait and see. And the delivery just came. Look at what it is. It's Noah's Ark Shape Sorter. It's something that I've been looking at. When it came, I thought I had accidentally ordered it when I was looking at it. Then I figured I didn't order anything from the entertainer. I think someone must have ordered for Levi um, as a gift and they put my name on it. So I was like, okay, we don't even know who it's from because it hasn't got like a tag or anything. His gifts have already started coming in now. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden It's only day one of vlogging. Technically, it's day two today, but I just started vlogging. But it already feels as if I've completely forgotten to show you more than half the stuff. And I don't even remember what was the last clip um, I showed you. But what happened was I had such a tight schedule yesterday. Solid plan, might I add. However, it didn't go as I expected. We left all of the frying until the last minute. Levi wants to make his appearance here too. <laughs> he's having his breakfast and he's talking to my mother who is sitting behind there. <laughs> um, so we were going to fry all of these things, you know, the rolls and the cutlets. It's kind of like croquettes here in the UK. The rolls were all fine, the mutton and the vegetarian rolls. But the fish cutlets that I made, I loved it while I was growing up. My grandparents used to, my grandmother used to make really nice fish cutlets before and I haven't had that in such a long time. I made that. We froze everything because we knew we were not going to have time over the weekend just before the dedication and we didn't want to... Do you want to have this? We didn't want to be rushing in the last minute technically and get tired. So I made a plan that we'll start frying up at five o'clock, you know, prepare all of this frying up and the platters and everything, finish it up and then Close the kitchen at nine at night. Four hours was plenty of time. We didn't start at five. We started at seven something, I think. 
and we only managed to close the kitchen at 11 o'clock with a little bit of damage control also. The rolls turned out perfectly all right. But the fish cutlet is the one that was so disappointing. We just left it out for way too long. So it became too soft and it stuck to each other. So it went out of shape and it wasn't even frying properly. It was like, you know, kind of cracking open, breaking up. And it wasn't nice. In the end, my mother had to, and I had a lot of it. So my mom had to take like a few packs of it and re-roll everything. So change the shape so that it kind of holds together in place and not just fall everywhere and break apart. And then finally, we managed to laugh. She was like, we need to scrape that from the menu. I said, no way. I worked so hard to do that. It was actually very, very tasty also. It's just that the texture changed because we left it out for way too long and we should have done the frying much earlier in the day rather than late at night. But at least that is rescued and then we packed everything. We have like three bags of food, I think, with one huge pot and then a lot of the decorations and everything to go to church. Um, so Lakshmi's taken everything to church now. It's half, almost half eight and Levi is having his breakfast. I think they're already done in the church. We have to get ready. Once I finish feeding Levi, get him ready, get myself ready, and we will aim to leave at 10 o'clock because the service starts at 11. And it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in the set and ready to go. So and I've come out here tired. to say. past 10 o'clock and I'm beyond exhausted but I really didn't want to end this day without documenting how I felt and how everything went. It was such a blessed day you know beyond all of the exhaustion and all of the work that we did and everything. Um, Levi's dedication today was far more than what I expected. First and foremost we dedicated a child in church um, like it is like a public declaration to say that you know we will uh, bring this child up in the Christian way, in you know, in the Word of God and in knowledge of God and everything like that. And we did a little bit of um, a speech, spoke about our journey and everything, and then the pastor spoke and the church prayed over us. Um, it is on live stream on YouTube. I will link that video up down in the description box. When I spoke, and when Lakshman spoke, when both of us spoke um, about our journey and our experiences, the entire congregation, the entire church was so responsive. They were really paying attention to what we had to say, and they were responding to everything, and it felt really good. We could just sense how much they love us, how much they pay attention to us, and how much they honor us. And that was, that kind of a feeling is is um yeah you you can't really express that yeah you are grateful i am grateful i am thankful but beyond that i keep thinking what have i done to deserve this nothing these people just love us as we are the celebration in the afternoon was so grand i didn't do any of the decoration in that room at all we just gave all of the things and we said 
you know, you can do whatever you want to do because we couldn't get into that room. That's a room that um, the church would use for the kids and we can't get in while the kids are there. So Anushka, who is the operations manager in church, our senior pastor's wife, she and her team had arranged and coordinated everything perfectly well. The minute I walked in, I was impressed. I was like, wow, it looks so good. All I expected was simple table and, you know, food set up. That's it. But they went above and beyond decorating the table, making it look nice and neat and tidy and really, really presentable. And everyone else was impressed with that entire area also. People were impressed with the food, which made me so, so happy of all the struggle and the sleepless nights and everything that we spent. I was so happy. And you know what? The fish cutlet that I was worried about What's the bestseller? That one completely sold out. And I was so happy. I was so proud of myself that people actually like the food that I cooked. I used this guest book from my baby shower. I ordered one for Levi's dedication. Um, I ordered like um, a personalized one, but the people made um, a mistake and I couldn't get it on time. So I ended up using my baby shower because I had a lot of pages left. So we made sure a lot of people wrote in it and everyone did write in it. The kind of words that they wrote in there was so kind of them. Of course, people will be polite on such a day. You know, when you're celebrating, you invite people. They be polite and kind and generous. But you, beyond all of those things, you know that there is some level of truth. When I read some of the things that people mentioned about us and about Levi, I was um, taken aback that I agreed I am not good at praising myself at all. I'm not good at acknowledging when I am good at something. I always think that it's not good enough. I could have done better. But the way some people have written about me, about Lakshman, about Levi, it's like you can't help but agree with them. And it felt really, really nice. And it felt very different that someone else has acknowledged you and has seen you for those things that you don't see yourself. And it makes you believe in yourself a lot more. It makes you want to be an even better person for yourself and for everyone else. Because it's like you are sowing a seed, you know, when 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 someone recognizes those kinds of attitudes and attributes in you, you are sowing a seed in them because you are inspiring them to be like that also, which felt really good. It felt uh, fulfilling. We had a really good time talking to everyone. We made sure that we went table by table to spend time with people, which is what I really, really love. Because I spent time with everyone, I didn't really focus on taking pictures or videos at all throughout the day. But a lot of other people in church took photos and videos, and I'm waiting for them to send that to me. When I get it, I will um, you know, insert all of those things. But I will most like definitely insert a link for the live stream um, of our church. It's only 10 to 15 minutes and I would love for you to go and watch it um, and witness it, you know, witness us dedicating Levi. And so you get a better idea as to what a baby dedication is. Pastor Steve definitely did a better job than me explaining what a baby dedication is. But the fellowship overall in the afternoon was so good. The celebration was so grand. I just wanted something simple, but it was so grand and it was such a blessing. It was grand meaning it wasn't overboard. You know, with all of the decorations and everything, it wasn't overboard. We didn't have any other activities. We didn't have anything else at all. It's just the joy and the genuine love and prayers and concern that people had is what made all the difference for us today. Levi was truly, truly well loved. He is very well loved. And he was such a charm today. As it is, he's a very sweet boy. His timing was obviously all over the place. His nap time and his feeding time was all over the place today. And the poor thing didn't get a proper lunch at all. I was feeding him while we were table hopping here and there. So he obviously wasn't satisfied with what he was eating today. Um, and he couldn't sleep enough. So he got really tired by late afternoon but he still wasn't cranky he just wanted to be carried that said he wasn't crying non-stop or you know saying anything else or making noise or anything when other people invited us for their baby dedication this was before we had levi before we were pregnant and everything we attended it of course and we blessed them as well but i never really felt the impact of it i never understood the importance and 
the pride and the joy and the excitement that a day will bring. Um, I suppose it's only families who are actually dedicating their childhood to a lot of these things. Today, when a lot of us are saying, oh, are you excited? Big day, big day, big day for Levi. I was like, yeah, it's a big day for him. Of course, ever since he was born, the day he was born, we had decided that we would be dedicating him to God. It's just that we didn't make a public declaration. So it was slightly different that way. But to do it today publicly felt so good. I was so happy with uh, the word of prayer and the word of encouragement that everyone wrote on the guest book for us as parents. And for Levi especially, even the children who had come had some message to say for him and their parents wrote down those messages it's just so sweet. I can't wait for him to grow up, uh, to be old enough to understand all of these things. I really treasure all these things that I can share it with him. And of course, he had a lot of gifts also, which is not something that I would expect, but I truly appreciate other people's generosity. Very well thought of, very well considered gifts. Uh, he had so many books and he loves books currently. So he's definitely going to love those things. He had such amazing personalized frames and clothes. Such lovely cards with lovely messages on it. It all is so heartwarming, you know, despite all the tiredness, despite all the work that we've done all this while. It's just, yeah, it's worth it. It was worth every effort of it. And this is a day that I will not forget for sure. And I'm so glad I wanted to film it. I wanted to vlog it. Although I did not do a very good job at vlogging, but uh, I'm glad I sat down to talk about this. And I do apologize that it's been a bit lengthy, but I really wanted to capture my thoughts about it. I do not want to forget this at all. Ooh.